What is going on, it's Shereem Nightmares. It's Harrison here, this is Team Weed. And we're going right into this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy. Hello, welcome back to the Trivium Nightmares YouTube channel. In this episode, we barely work on engineering, just doing a bit on our pulley system, talking about our new change of wheels, and finishing our cat. We actually spent most of our meeting today talking about business and having an impromptu business meeting. In this meeting, we talked about what we want our business team to be like in the future, as well as discussing other things such as judging and working with scripts for Mr. Chavez from Raytheon Technologies, who helps us smooth out our scripts to the point where we can present them in front of a panel of judges. This can help us at competitions. We also talked about how to do more outreach and a lot of things regarding our social media. Another thing that we did, very interestingly, is we designed shirts, which I currently have right here. The reason why I actually have this shirt now, as compared to in the video or any time in past videos, is because the video that you are about to see was recorded before Thanksgiving, and as of recording this segment, it is currently December 30th, so it's almost the end of 2021. Uh, I apologize for the delay in this video, we had to focus on a robot for our competition, as well as having finals uh, slash midterms that week, and ever since winter break started I was really just trying to, you know, better myself and my judging abilities, you know, doing lots of uh, research when it comes to media and things like that. Speaking of which, we've actually already had a competition. Uh, we went to our very first one in December, and we did not do the best. We won the Judges Award due to our amazing scripts with Mr. Chavez from Raytheon Technologies, um, but we also came 19th out of 20th in the robot game. However, our sister team, uh, Trivium Undefined, was actually able to make it to state uh, through that competition, so we congratulate them, and we hope that we can join them to go to state in our competition in January. Of course, final remarks, every single bit of music you hear in this video was written by either Aaliyah or Sabrina, both team members on our team. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of TAMGG Season 2. Oh, wait, that might be very bad. Hello! Welcome to Trivium Hello. Nightmares, Episode 3, Season 2. Today, we have our, our robot. Not much is going to happen with the robot today, like, design-wise, we're just going to... Uh, order new wheels, do some CAD to see which kind of wheels we need, as well as some other things. Um, we're gonna maybe try to mount a camera for advanced coding like Euphoria and TensorFlow. Euphoria is how we get the robot's coordinates on the field, and TensorFlow is how we map out the objects. This makes our program more precise because when the robot is moving around the field, it will have more accurate coordinates to follow. Uh, oh. as well as tight- oh yeah, this thing is so good. This camera. Amazing. And we're gonna try to tighten the pulley system a little bit more. So, also, <laughs> later today, um, we're also planning on doing some business things. We're gonna work on scripts for a meeting with Mr. Chavez, who will help us define our judging sessions. Okay, so what we've done since last episode, we've done basically everything. Uh, last episode, we mounted the motors, I believe, and moved the switch. But last time, we moved, worked on the pulleys and actually brought in the string. Show the video, spread the so content. Build oh, the yeah. empire. I might. The current so issue, the new <laughs> wheels that I'm getting, or that we're getting, I tested on CAD, and they're about the same size as these wheels. So the thing is, if you put these wheels like this, then it's, it's over 18. Really? So, how, how do we combat really? it? Jacob! 
I mean, while we're at it, I mean, we could just start off talking about, like, minor business stuff. In terms of, like, how we want to improve business in our team individually right now. We could just do that. You know how big these I think that's probably a good idea. If there's not anything we're working on right now, I say we just yeah. have like no, no, business no, meeting, like, like short that. business like, meeting. But there, there, there is something that we can work on. Mm -hmm. Nightmares. Mm -hmm. So what we can do today, this is Jacob, Only. you could write some scrap program or like some like basic program when to try I to get stop. all of the motors working. Okay. We could also charge up these yeah. batteries and just use the rev testing software to see these run. And we have a arm that goes up to spin the duck carousel. We can we install can that. that. Yeah. Duck carousel. Duck carousel. So should we do those things? Like should we mount the things and run the code, or should we just have like an impromptu business meeting? Impromptu business meeting. <laughs> All right. I think that's. I mean that's. Yeah. Keep it sharp. I mean I'm not prepared, but I think. Uh, we can we can wing it. So. Yeah. No, it's 21 pilots, it's not draft, it's you know, okay, it's starter pack. Okay, he's over there doing CAD uh, and seeing new parts. Uh, afterwards, we're going to do some programming, but as of right now, we're going to have a little impromptu business meeting. section of the Paramount, we began dissecting the business side of our team to try to better understand what we could do better in the future, what we've done bad, and what we're doing good. This involves listing things into three categories. Good is referring to things we've done and good this year, um, things we've improved on. Bad would be things that are, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And Perseus, <laughs> that is uh, the things that aren't bad right now, but we need to improve on in the future. Decent. Sure. If you guys have anything, um, feel free to raise your hand or just speak up. section of the time lapse we talked a lot about our outreach goals with YouTube and Instagram also there's more general outreach such as with other teams and other clubs from our school particularly also talking a lot about volunteering and how we can get the word of our club out and also just our team individually we also started discussing shirts and what we can do at the next competition to make us stand out against the other crowd of people
I mean, it's just like school education. I don't. I've been harassing everyone to watch our videos. Like, I mean, yeah. You literally forced me. Because it's Lord Ariana. You guys have to call him that. Like, yeah, legit have to call him that. Did you just question the Lord's superiority? Oh, he's also like legally a Lord now, so you know, respect it. I'm sorry. mostly focused during this meeting, talking about how to engage in, with other teams at competition, but we eventually settled on bringing something like baked goods or even mints, which we did actually end up bringing. Um, but we did get distracted at some points. So, hear me out. Dumb idea might work. We brought a lemonade stand on the corner of the street. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, if we, we did that, 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 we do that? Hot cocoa. It's going to be winter. Yes! yes! Hot cocoa. At a tournament. We said outside yes. for the yes. <laughs> yes, that's yes. actually a really good idea. During the end of our business meeting, we finally concluded on our outreach. We concluded on trying to utilize our school's announcement system, collaborating with other school clubs, making ads for networking slash social events like we did over the summer, and getting shirts to wear future competitions to spread our empire. Another member of our school, Gus, was thinking about joining us. We also discussed extorting his connections with the headmaster to get club funding. We couldn't join in any official capacity because we already had the maximum number of members on our team, which is 10. Um, so we also thought that maybe he could just... Yeah, you, could, you could pretend to be the weakest. The weakest to show up. Thank <laughs> 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 you! never shows up to the never shows up. My name is Lucas Chavez. Finally, we received the field elements and began building them after this meeting. Okay.
Okay. Hello. Okay, so, camera, what we did today is we were able to do have an impromptu business meeting. Alex finished the cab with new wheels, which you should order soon. Yeah, probably today. That's today. Not out of stock. Yes. Um, we also got our field components, so we can soon start like moving our robot like on the actual field. Here are some of the components that we got here. Yeah, all we did really did today was an impromptu business meeting where we determined that we wanted to kind of spread our influence. Is, it, is that right? Where we spread the influence? Yes. Yes. Can someone actually else? Can someone else summarize what we did during the business meeting today? Okay. So today in the business meeting, we talked about what we can do better and um what we're already doing well. So of course, you know the YouTube channel is amazing. You're gonna see this on YouTube and see how amazing the YouTube channel is. But we also talked about like we should make a team for the Instagram. Maybe we should collaborate with some other clubs at school. We should work on the T-shirts because we're gonna need those for competition by December 11th. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. 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 Um, and then we talked about like how we can get more funding. How, um, maybe doing like a fun fact on the announcements and just other ways so that more people um, know about robotics and we can build our empire. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna pick putting things back up. And yeah. So goodbye. Would you like to sign off for uh, robotics? Just to slap the camera. Just slap it. Just slap it. Hi guys. I love you so very much. I was just saying that I love them very much. Oh, okay. Oh wait. We need someone to say the intro and outro. Say, oh, say the intro. Do the thing, do the thing. Yo, what is going on guys? True nightmares viewers. We're back at it again with another banger today. Hope you guys. <laughs> Hope you guys, like, guys subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks. No, that's so good, dude. That's so good. Stop. Like, comment, and subscribe. Get out of my face. No, stop. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'll find you. Oh, <laughs> I cannot put that in the video. <laughs> now you can slap it.